And it's a privilege for me now, Mr. Speaker, also to be in this well to deliver what is my last speech on this floor. It has been the privilege and the honor of a lifetime for me to serve as a member of the United States Congress, serving as the first woman ever elected from the state of Minnesota in the capacity of being a Republican. It's an honor, and it's the ride of a lifetime. Good evening. My name is Congresswoman Michelle Bachman from Minnesota's 6th District. How many of you suspect well, of your colleagues I, I as being anti-American? What I would say, what I would say, is that the news media should do a penetrating expose and take a look. I wish they would. I wish the American media would take a great look at the views of the people in Congress and find out are they pro-America or anti-America. Here in the midst of many friends and many family members to announce formally my candidacy for President of the United States. Just make no mistake about it. I want to announce tonight, President Obama is a one-term oh, okay. president. Are you a flake? Well, I think that would be insulting to say something like that because I'm a serious person. Just like John Wayne was from Waterloo, Iowa, that's the kind of spirit that I have, too. While John Wayne's parents lived briefly in Waterloo, the late actor was born in Winterset, Iowa, 150 miles away, and never did. John Wayne Gacy, the serial killer, lived in Waterloo. And to have innocent little 12-year-old girls be forced to have a government injection through an executive order is just flat out wrong. Well, I will tell you that I had a mother last night come up to me here in Tampa, Florida after the debate. She told me that her little daughter took that, uh, took that vaccine, that injection, and she suffered from mental retardation thereafter. It can have very dangerous side effects. The mother was crying when she came up to me last night. I didn't know who she was before the debate. This is the very real concern. And, and so I have decided to stand aside. And I believe that if we are going to repeal Obamacare, turn our country around and take back our country, we must do so united. And I believe that we must rally around the person that our country and our party and our people select to be that standard bearer. I've decided me, next year I will not seek a fifth congressional term. Be assured, my decision was not in any way influenced by any concerns about my being re-elected to Congress. And rest assured, this decision was not impacted in any way by the recent inquiries into the activities of my former presidential campaign or my former presidential staff.